to logical ayurveda today we are going to see about the disease called parikartika pari means all around and kartanam denotes the act of cutting so the word meaning of parikartika denotes a tear or cut anywhere in the anal mucosa in contemporary science it can almost be equated to fissure in ano fissure in ano is a cut or tear that is caused in anal mucosa because of a constipated or dry stool a dry bowel which itself becomes like a knife during the process of defecation that cuts through the anal canal because of its very hard nature that is fissure in ano before i go into this video of parikartika i will tell you why parikartika is very much important to an ayurveda practitioner parikartika the anorectal solu- anorectal problems constitute a 40% of the cases that come to the ayurveda opd symptoms of fissure in ano are cutting type of pain in the anal region during defecation spasm during defecation burning sensation bleeding before and after defecation this is one of the important points that you can differentiate fissure in ano from other anorectal problems because um, bleeding just before the bowel movement and after the bowel movement is a typical symptom of fissure in ano and hard and constipated bowels which patients feel very difficult to evacuate most of the patients of fissure in ano even if they have a bowel movement they tend to suppress it because of the pain involved while defecation which causes further more problems which worsens the problem so after hearing all these symptoms before moving on to the treatment it is very important that you should examine the patient physically the problem with most of the anorectal patients is according to them every each and every anorectal problem is called piles even internal piles is piles external piles is piles fissure in ano is piles fistula is piles abscess is piles everything is piles according to the patient and we are also very surprised that uh, i mean because of the comfort every doctor say to the patient it is piles because it is very difficult to make them understand about fissure in ano or fistula every doctor tend to tell them that it is piles i am giving treatment for piles so before giving such a statement it is very important that you examine the patient because fissure in ano can be primary or secondary so on the physical examination of patient during darshana pariksha you can either see a cut or tear in the anal mucosa which is a fresh fissure which has recently happened or if you see the sentinel tag the pile mass the, the the finger like projection small fingerless finger projections that is called sentinel tag it denotes that, that it is a chronic fissure at least it is 6 months old proctoscopy is not advised in fissure in ano patients with the severe pain because during the episode of severe pain there will be always spasm and inserting a proctoscope will do much more harm than good if possible you can do a digital examination and most of the time the cut or tear in the anal mucosa will be in 12 o'clock positions 90% of the time or 80% of the time the tear in anal mucosa in practice we see it is at 12 o'clock or 6 o'clock the other positions like 3 uh, 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock are very rare but it also comes so moving into sampraapti of fissure in ano so, uh, as i told earlier the common sampraapti is that the bowel becomes very hard the bowel itself becomes like a knife that cuts through the anal mucosa causes bleeding burning sensation and pain etc so let's see how vata pitta and kapha single handedly produces the fissure in ano and there is a difference in sampraapti and how could we better treat them in vata there will be excruciating pain ati teevra ruja and spasms will be more the anal t- canal will be shrunk very much uh, the shrinkage of the anal sphincter because vata has the capability of shrinking the shrotas so the anal canal will be very very much tight in vata cases and there will be extreme pain and spasm during the bowel movement and there will also be gas and vishtabdha ajirna associated okay and in pitta there will be much more burning sensation than pain burning sensation the patient will feel much more burning than pain and the bleeding will be profuse the bleeding will be more in pitta kind of fissures kapha kind of fissures are very rare 
uh, it occurs as the complication of the grahani or uh, the ir- uh, irritable bowel syndrome or ulcerative colitis in such cases the kapha symptoms uh, constitute only 10 10 5 to 10% of the cases but still the uh, the symptoms of kapha their mild pain will be there and itching uh, in the anal mucosa because of the improper defecation of the bowel and bloated abdomen or the symptoms of kapha types of fissure so let us see each uh, dosha in detail so before uh, differentiating the uh, disease into vata pitta kapha and we have to remember this pitta is a main dosha and pitta is basic dosha in the fissure so there will there will be always basically pitta involved with the differentiation of vata pitta and kapha so in vata ja uh, fissure in ano you have uh, nidanas like smoking an intake of excessive ruksha foods which contains very less water like chapati or uh, jola the, jola roti so people who tend to travel very much people who sprinter is having spasm because of traveling and excessive dehydration people who are dehydrated much uh, their bowel becomes very hard and people who fast excessively we can commonly see in the clinic that because of fasting lot of patients come to Uh, come because of fissure in ano so all this ruksha nidanas cause shoshan of jala in the purusha vaha shrotas and the motion becomes very hard therefore it becomes like a knife which cuts through the anal canal and all the common fissure in ano symptoms happen so main differentiating factor is excruciating pain in vata the pain will be much more than burning sensation when coming to the pitta the nidanas will be mostly ushna and ruksha in nature intake of excessive amla and kattu ahara excessive amla like uh, 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 lemon rice and uh, tomato rice etc the people who do madhyapana people who take alcohol excessively and people who ta- take ushna aharas like chicken and uh, sp- aharas which are very spicy in nature so the pitta is always associated with or uh, most of the time it is associated with gastritis that is vidagda ajirna burning sensation during abdomen so because of all these foodstuffs because of the ushna and ruksha it again causes uh, jealous ocean and the purusha vashrotas and the main symptom will be uh, burning sensation because of the ushna nidana involved and bleeding excessively because of the ushna guna nature of the pitta when it comes to kapha the kapha ja cases are very rare what happens in kapha is basically because of agni mandya because of the ama ajirna because of manda guna vriddhi Uh, for example people who take oily food more people who take food like maida excessively which can constipate and which can give uh, pr- pressure on the agni which reduces the agni because of the agni mandya the improper food which is not digested will not have a proper evacuation thereby the motion becomes hard and thereby they have fissure it is secondary it is always they will having secondary disease like grahani where there will be uh, Uh, particular episodes of constipation and then particular episodes of diarrhea during the time of constipation when they when they try to excessively put pressure for bowel evacuation then fissure happens these type of cases are rare but but then you should also know about this uh, sampratti of uh, kapha janidanas in kapha because of the uh, there will be associated gulma so there will be only mild pain in kapha there will always be mild pain and lot of itching because of the improper bowel evacuation kapha patient will never have the satisfaction of complete bowel evacuation and there will be bloated abdomen so all these symptoms will make you understand that this is a kapha patient so this video is all about the diagnosis and understanding of the sampratti of fissure in ano chikitsa is nothing but sampratti vighatanam eva chikitsa breaking the sampratti katakas breaking the pathway in which the disease progresses is treatment so for fissure to break sampratti basically it is pitta dosha pradhana vyadhi and the medicine selection should be of shita virya i cannot select something that is ushna virya and fissure because it will increase burning sensation it will increase bleeding and it will increase pain so i have to select some drug which is shita virya in nature so again it is basically a vyadhi where abana vayu vaigunya is there so for abana vayu vaigunya you should select the medicine that is anulomaka in nature now don't mistake the term anuloma with the term laxative in modern science in modern science for every fissure for or every constipation they choose dulcolax or some stool softeners like tramaphen ayurveda does not work like that so you have to choose different anuloma dravya according to different condition for example if the fissure is of vata pradana if the malasancha is of vata pradana ruksha krura 
you have to select something which is snigdha in nature you have to select anulomaka dravya which is of lehya form or taila form or grita form or if the vyadi is pitta dosha pradana if the malasanthaya is pitta dosha pradana because of excessive vushna etc you have to choose the dravyas which are sheetha virya in nature for example avipatti churna plus milk such kind of combinations which can bring which can reduce the burning sensation or which can cause uh, uh, the reduction of pitta dosha as such for kapha pradhana vyadis where there is ajirna pradhana vyadis where there is kapha pradhana vyadis where there is ama pradhana vyadis and there is mala sanchaya you have to select a ruksha dravya like you have you can select trifala churna or you can select harita ki churna because of so according to the avastha you choose the proper kind of anulomaka and you cannot use the general term laxative ayurveda does not work like that as usual so i have to choose a dravya which is sheetha virya in nature which reduces the abana vayu now i cannot select gandravastadi kashayam because it is ushna i cannot select chirabilvadi kashaya because again it is ushna such kashayas can be selected in shushkarshas or dry piles where there is no bleeding where it is vata kapha pradana and not pitta pradana but fisher is pitta pradana so you will select sukumaram kashayam which is sheetha virya in nature and it is in kashaya form and it gives anulomaka so sukumaram kashayam is chosen in arista i choose sari badi asava to reduce the pitta even though there are other uh, arista and asavas like chandana asava and ushira asava etc i don't know i am very comfortable initially from the beginning with sari badi asava and it gives excellent result so for anuloma uh, most of the time i choose trivial lehya most of the time there will be acute patient will be coming with acute pain fissure spasms in vata pradana condition in shula pradana condition so in such conditions i choose trivial lehya so 90% of the time my prescription is sukumaram kashaya or sukumara kashayam tablet if i choose kashayam it is 15 ml in the morning and 15 ml the night before food with hot water if i choose kashayam tablet i choose 202 2 bd before food with hot water and i choose saribadi asava 20 ml of saribadi asava after food which is excellent in reducing the burning sensation bleeding and pain and i give one spoon of trivial lehya at the ni- at the night before food with hot water so they get proper evacuation in the morning so most of the time my prescription will be like this does not mean your prescription should also be like this you basically you have to select some sheetha virya dravyas which are anulomaka in nature which reduces the apana vayu which causes free evacuation of the stools without giving any without increasing any symptoms of the patient such drugs any drug you choose can do the job so in different avasthas you have to choose different medicines you cannot choose a single prescription and you can go on with everyone so in different avasthas for example if there is more of mandagni or if there is more of uh, uh, vidagdha ajirna then i choose guluchari kashayam because it is excellent in correcting the agni and it is mild on pitta as well so if bleeding is more you can choose draksharadi kashayam or if you are living in north india where this kashayam getting this kashayams are little bit difficult you can choose kamadug rasa and sukshekar rasa for reduction in bleeding this also gives equivalent and excellent result so if there is gastritis also i choose kamadug along with the sutashekara to reduce the size of the sentinel tag in chronic fissure for example patient will come to you with the chronic fissure and having uh, two sentinel tags in such cases to reduce the size of the sentinel tag or to shrink the sentinel tag you can choose kankayanavati even though kankayanavati contains some kinchit ushna dravyas the ushna in the kankayanavati is balanced by giving sukumaram and saribadi asava so if there is there is a real problem when patient of ibs comes because in ip there, there is a visham nature of vata sometimes there will be constipation the next day there will be diarrhea and again there will be constipation so there is an alternate uh, thing happening because, because of the visham nature of the vata in such condition i will choose vilvadi guliga along with gulichadi kashayam and madifala rasayanam because madifala rasayanam is excellent in reducing the vata because it basically contains amla and madhura rasa pradhana dravyas which are vata hara in nature and i also give half spoon of trivial lehya at night so the combination of vilvadi and trivial lehya helps in correcting the alternate episodes of grahani when associated with fisher
basically when the person has spasms or cramping type of pain in fisher in anno so the basic dosha or the culprit involved is vata so sneha and sveda kriya is very important in treatment of vata so the famous uh, uh, mode of reducing the pain in the fisher in anno is giving a sitchpath so we need to give avagaha sveda or uh, ask the patient to take sitchpath in plain hot water the plain hot water will be most of the time sufficient if you want the wound to heal faster then you can ask the person to do sitch bath in trifala kashaya after doing sitch bath application of sneha or doing matra vasti is very highly effective once you do the sitch bath the sphincter relaxes the sphincter muscle spasm relaxes because of the ushna snigdha guna of the jala uh, because of the vata hara action and after that when the sphincter becomes loose you can think of administration of pasti or application of the ointment etc if there is severe burning sensation and severe cramping uh, and the sphincter is very tight you just simple application of shatadavata grita with the one one's own little finger is sufficient because when there is severe muscle cramps and pain and uh, the anus is very tight you should not go for a application of any matra bastis because it will again in turn aggravate it there you cannot for even examination purpose you cannot put a proctoscope over there so plain shatadavata grita application after sitch bath with the help of the little finger may be sufficient still if you want to give matra vasti you can give it with the simple catheter usually matra vasti we use simple catheter for administration of matra vasti when matra vasti i mean just 10 ml of matra vasti of uh, uh, mahanarayana taila or dhanvantara taila etc uh, so here matra vasti does not denote 100 ml is 10 ml of matra vasti when given in sphincter when uh, when given in the simple catheter is sufficient at times as i told when the sphincter is very tight where you cannot even use a sphin- uh, simple catheter you can use infant feeding tube if the sphincter is so much tight you can use infant feeding tube you can use lots of xylocaine apply it over the infant feeding tube and uh, take a, a little bit sukoshna taila and take 10 ml of sukoshna taila and you can apply it with the infant feeding tube to the anus that will be more more uh, useful because when when there is severe pain and when there is severe spasm 10 ml of matra vasti of dhanvantara taila or mahanarayana taila gives beautiful result and gives so much of comfort to the patient and uh, it has two benefits one it uh, it acts as vata hara nature and it itself is pain reducing in nature two um, the uh, taila that is applied acts as a lubricant when the when the person has further episodes of stool hard stool so the hard stool won't break the anus it will be very softer and lubricated because of the application of the taila so it has two benefits if there is much of burning sensation you can use hd madhu kera tailam or if if you want the wound the fissure wound to heal faster after the symptoms get reduced then you can use jatyadi taila or jatyadi grita and in uh, different conditions you can use if there is more of pitta you use uh, uh, if there is more of pitta we use uh, jeshimudu kera telam if there is more of vata you use dhanvantara taila or mahanarayana taila which is kinchit ushna and uh, if uh, if you want the wound to heal faster for vana ropana action jatyadi taila is uh, very best because in jatyadi taila the shloka states shuddhayanti ropayanti both ropana action sh- and shuddhi karana action of rana is done by jatyadi taila and the wound heals faster when the wound heals faster the treatment time becomes very much slow diet involves very important part of the fisher in anno in treatment of fisher in anno the maximum thing that should be avoided is excessive sour and spicy food items when i say sour food items it means it also includes lemon rice and tomato rice and stuff like that and uh, uh, spicy masalas hotel masalas etc should always be avoided because it will always increase burning sensation and food that can cause mala sanchaya like uh, the maida and the maida products or bakery products or, uh, foods which are exclusively made out of maida like paratha should be basically avoided because it always causes mala sanchaya and uh, the water absorbing diets or water imbibing diets like uh, chapati and ragi balls should be avoided at night what happens is uh, when people take chapati and ragi balls uh, at the night uh, ragi balls we generally tell mudde etc which is usually used in south india more Uh, such food stuff when taken in the night and not drinking enough of water and going to sleep immediately after the intake of food imbibes excess water 
for its digestion and in turn makes the stools go very very hard so such kind of food should be avoided at night chapati and ragi balls are fine at the morning or at the afternoon in night you ask the person to avoid such kind of foods and excessive intake of fruits and vegetables should be encouraged uh, fruits like pomegranate papaya and uh, adding coconut milk in uh, daily preparation of curries and uh, more inclusion of ghee or milk um, regularly for crore costa patients etc such kind of diet should be advised basically the diet should not cause constipation and should not increase the burning sensation because in the, the difference between the uh, allopathic diet that they prefer and our diet is we they ask to take lot of fiber foods so we do not take uh, we, we do not generally advise all fiber foods because fiber foods which can increase pitta should at any cost avoided um, and fruits and vegetables which should reduce the pitta and relieve the malasanchya should be encouraged uh, after all the, if the patient is incapable of following this diet and if the patient is indisciplined uh, in, in, not disciplined in taking medicines it is in initial days only it is better to refer the patient for anal dilatation or lateral sphincterotomy because uh, basically uh, if they do not follow this diet they are they are not going to get result with the treatment and they are going to repeatedly take the treatment and once for all they they will get diet and tell that this treatment is not working such kind of indiscipline patients you make it a point that initially you refer to the surgeon or uh, people who did shalya nearby you refer to them as for anal dilatation or doing lateral sphincterotomy uh, because they won't get result with the medicines because of improper following of diet and even after all this you do not get result we need to look into detail uh, do an endoscopy or an mri to rule out uh, crohn's disease ulcerative colitis and rectal cancer etc all these diseases there will be wound there will be fissure Uh, and there will be bleeding and burning sensation you will uh, you will mistake it for pre- uh, fissure and you will give es together of treatment but the patient won't get relief for such patients you always make it a point that you should do at least endoscopy once or M- and an mri to rule out all these disease conditions like crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis or rectal cancer for which treatment is extremely different and earlier identification of that disease gives so much relief to the patients thank you